Do you want to know what spirit has to tell you? We can find out. I'm going to help you. I'm Tiffany. Let's get to it. Greetings, everyone. Welcome to the March monthly collective reading. This is a general reading. Please take what resonates with you and leave the rest. Let's get started. Mm -hmm. I hope everyone is doing well. We're going to find out what Divine Spirit needs us to know as a collective for the month of March 2024. We have Mother Rose returning to each other, compassion, humanity. We have the anointed, answer the call, leadership, empowerment, soul gifts. And then we also have plant yourself here, integration, embodiment, grounded action. So with this first oracle card from the Rose Oracle, we have Mother Rose returning to each other, compassion, humanity. This is a very valid and timely card for us to have for this monthly collective reading returning to each other compassion humanity we have to be able to get back to helping each other flourish and thrive raising the collective vibration so that we do better each day as we're here on the planet so that we can all live a life of comfort and joy and well-being that's what we all want we want to be happy we want to raise our families we want to feel joy we want to live a comfortable life so so spirit is telling us get back to being a productive member of humanity being a compassionate member of humanity then we have the anointed answer the call leadership empowerment soul gifts if you are someone who is a coach, um, a mentor, a seer, a healer, a shaman. This is pointing back to getting back to uh, returning to each other. Um, compassion, being a part of the human experience and helping each other to flourish and thrive. Spirit is not, is not playing with us this month. This is beautiful. I love it so far. We are going to get some clarifiers with our tarot. Lastly, we have plant yourself here. Integration, embodiment, grounded action. Absolutely. Plant yourself here. Find out where it is that you need to plant yourself in order to help humanity to flourish and thrive with your gifts, your soul gifts. You, have, you were born with soul gifts and the way that you get to them is going within, seeking guidance from within, from your higher self, okay? Let's go ahead and get some tarot to clarify our oracle cards. Spirit, what do you need us to know as a collective? Do tell. What do we need to hear, Spirit? All right. Let's see. The sun, wow. I love this. King of Wands. This is beautiful. So, with returning to each other, compassion and humanity, we have the sun. We know the sun is vitality. We know the sun means yes. We know the sun is success. If we are coming together as a collective to raise the vibration of this planet for the people, we will have a, a vital life. We will have a joyful life. We will have a life of yes when we work together. <clears throat> and then you have the King of Wands, right? King of Wands. We have uh, authority, leadership, right? Entrepreneurship. This is something where 
you may be you may be starting a business you may be starting your spiritual business right and that making the plans for that spiritual business gets you to a place to be able to help humanity overall one by one when you help one individual you help another individual and that one by one support you give your fellow human helps to raise the vibration helps to raise the collective all right what else can we get divine spirit tell us more I got two that fell out. We have, again, the King of Wands and the Three of Wands. Wow. Okay. With the Sun. Of course, this is vitality. This is sex. Uh, success. Excuse me. And then you have the Three of Wands. This is expression and joy, right? This is this. This is a part of you creating a compassionate space for your fellow human beings and returning to one another this this is beautiful can i get this to focus well i i do apologize beautiful cards hard to see the three of wands okay so it's actually, this is pointing back to, to returning to each other. The threes represent communi communication and teamwork. We have to return to one another, work together to help the collective flourish and thrive, raise the vibration of the planet. This is what spirit needs you to know this month of March, right? And then we have another King of Wands. You have two Kings of Wands here. And it's like, get the big picture, getting the big picture, overcoming challenges, becoming the leader, becoming a leader. Two Kings of Wands, that is powerful energy. You have what it takes to help humanity raise its vibration so that we are more compassionate toward each other. You are a leader. You have the the ability to be a leader as well, right? Let's see what we have for the anointed. Answer the call, leadership, empowerment, and soul gifts. This is beautiful. Leadership, empowerment, soul gifts. It's just pointing back to raising the vibration of humanity so that we are coming back to one another. We have been living our lives in silos separately not concerned about our fellow human being and it's causing so much chaos in the world we we have to remember and spirit is reminding us we are all one we are all one we there are there are differences are there for a reason so because we are individuals but the similarities that we each have outweighs our differences and spirit is reminding us return to each other help each other when we are able to help each other and remember that we are all one we create a space and a planet full of love grace and compassion so you spirit is telling you you are anointed for this this position of leadership Spirit is telling you, you are anointed for this position of leadership. You absolutely have what it takes to do that. Answer the call. Listen to the call of your soul. You have soul gifts that are locked up within you. You may be hiding from your gifts. They may have been revealed to you previously and they give you a little bit of anxiety. You're like, how, how am I created for this? You are created for greatness and all things will be revealed to you to help you on your journey in order to be able to use your soul gifts. That's what spirit needs you to want. And here we are with the, the queen of wands. Amazing. And then the lovers. Okay. <clears throat> so with your queen of wands, be determined. Be determined, good people. Be determined. Be courageous. You There is a joy within you. And this the queen of wands is pointing to success. You will have success when you use your soul gifts. You will have success when you answer the call of your soul. There's nothing stopping you, 
right? Spirit wants you to know there's joy in using your soul gifts, okay? And then we have the lovers. This is balance. This is harmony. This is partnership. This is you coming into partnership with your highest self, with your soul gifts in order to, to create the joy that this planet so desperately needs. Your calling is it's showing you right now. Unlock it. Do not be afraid of your calling, your soul gifts. Answer the call. Spirit wants you to know. Answer the call. You are capable. And spirit, your your uh, ancestors, your spirit guides, and your angels will help you along your journey. Your highest self will speak to your soul to help you unlock that wisdom that was always within. It's just that you must seek it. Within. It is not an external place that you go to find it. It comes from within your intuition, your highest self. And as you unlock step by step, you come closer to your highest self. And in more power with your soul gifts, you have empowerment <clears throat> of your soul gifts. And that's the help from your angels, guides, and ancestors, as well as your highest self. So with that queen of wands, with that determination to unlock your soul gifts, be determined to unlock your soul gifts. We have the nine of swords clarifying this, this queen of wands and, and spirit is telling me, yes, you have been anxious because you probably already have known what your soul gift is and you don't even understand how it is. That's your soul gift. Like why me? How me? Where do I get this? ability from how do I walk in this ability listen I believe we have one purpose everybody on the planet this is my belief hopefully it resonates uh, resonates with you if not just leave it where we seek purpose we are always seeking purpose right and we feel like we're lost I don't know my purpose I don't know my purpose I want to share with you what I truly believe deep within my soul we are all born with the same purpose, and that purpose is to help humanity flourish and thrive. Now, the mechanics of that purpose will look different for each of us. How we go about the purpose of helping humanity flourish and thrive, it will look different for each of us. You could be a doctor. You could be a shaman, a healer. You could be a nurse. You could be a child uh, care provider. You could be... Um, you could be a sanitation worker because we need clean streets, right? We need our, our living spaces to be clean and sanitized so that we stay healthy, right? You can be anything. That could be the, the, the vehicle that drives your purpose of helping humanity flourish and thrive. And again, I believe that is a singular purpose that we all have, but how we go about delivering and operating and moving in that purpose will look different for each of us. Think about that. So you are worried that you're not sure you can walk in your purpose. You're not sure you can answer the call. Spirit is letting you know you are divinely guided. You are empowered to do this work. Your soul gifts will not let you down. Your soul gifts will make room for you. Okay. And then the lovers, we're going to clarify with the ace of pentacles. Here's your beginning. It's a new beginning for you. Okay. It's a new beginning for you. Step out on faith. Remember your individuality. We are individuals, but we have so many similarities that outweigh any of our differences. You starting on this new journey of unlocking your soul gifts so that you can walk in purpose of helping humanity to flourish and thrive so that we are able to return to one another and work collectively to raise the vibrational frequency of this planet and keep it at a level of abundance, love, grace, and compassion where there is less pain, less hurt, Less reason to feel alone because we are too busy living in silos, not caring about our neighbors, not caring about somebody across the world. It's time to step out into that new venture that is yours. It's yours for the taking. Let's look at this. Plant yourself here. Integration, embodiment, grounded action. Get grounded. Spirit is telling you, get grounded in doing the work to unlock your soul gifts. Get grounded. Plant yourself 
solid and solid foundation and do the work. Go within. Go within. Everything you need is on the inside of you. There's nothing you are lacking. If you seek, seek the wisdom. Seek the wisdom from within. Yes, we are meant to help each other. We can get uh, advice and ideas from one another. But the, the information and the guidance you need to do this soul work is within. Okay? So get ready. Plant yourself in the seat of higher learning. Higher learning from your highest self. Plant yourself into that. Get integrated into your purpose. Get integrated into your soul calling. Let it become a part of your DNA. You are unlocking parts of your DNA that are meant to help you flourish and thrive. And when you're able to do that, you're able to help others to flourish and thrive. Walking in your purpose. Living in your purpose. Right? We have the Ace of Cups. Wow. This is beautiful. This spirit is really wanting you to know you are more than capable here's the beginning this ace of cups here's the beginning of compassion here's the beginning of generosity here's the beginning of emotional expansion i heard ayala van zant say one time Everything that's within your cup is for you. Everything that spills out of your cup is for others. And we see this here. All the abundance of love and compassion and grace spilling out of this cup. That's what's, that's your, that's your soul calling. That's your soul work. That's your purpose. All that spills out of this cup is your purpose. And planting yourself, getting grounded, we must water the plants, right? The cups is is a water element. It's we must we get planted and we begin we begin to water ourselves, water ourselves, fill our cup. All that spills out of the cup is for us to give away. Thank you, Spirit. And then we have the Ten of Pentacles. Everyone loves to see the Ten of Pentacles. Spirit has shown you this for a reason. Your gifts will make room for you. Your soul calling will make room for you right? It will make room for you to be abundant, uh, to live a life of comfort, to have a legacy. Spirit is telling you the work is here for you to do and we, and spirit will support you. Your angels, guides, ancestors, your highest self will support you. You lack nothing. You are moving toward abundance as you walk and work in your purpose as you use your soul calling to help raise the vibration of the planet this this is beautiful spirit is really telling you something exceptional if you're here you needed to know this you needed to know this you were feeling slightly unsure of what it is you should be doing at this point in your life you were feeling i don't know my purpose spirit is helping me to share with you your purpose is the same as my purpose to help humanity to flourish and thrive if you're watching this you were meant to see this this is not happenstance this is not a mistake this is divine connection and i thank you so much for being here <coughs> with the ace of cups we have temperance we have temperance with the Ace of Cups. This is balance. This is moderation. This is to be sure to remind you, do not give away more than you can afford. You do not give away more than you can afford. That's what spirit is reminding you. Do not deplete yourself to a point where you become ineffective in your work. Balance your give and take. Balance what you're uh, feeding yourself and what you're able to feed others, right? That's what spirit is reminding you here. Be mindful of how much you're giving, how much someone is taking, what you're giving back to yourself, what you're giving to others. And then with this 10 of pentacles, we have death. There is new, there is a newness in here for you. There is a newness for you. There is a beginning for you. There is, I found this on the web. Oh, yes, ma'am. <laughs> yes. Um, your previous cycle, that cycle is done. 
because you have you have instructions from spirit to let you know next steps for the month of March. This is your focus. Spirit is telling you what you have been doing, what has caused you to lose interest, uh, what has caused you uncertainty on a on uh, any level. It's over. It's dead and done. Because there's a rebirth in store for you. That is what spirit is saying. That old cycle is dead and done. Here's a new cycle. And we're starting that right now. As a collective. We are doing this work together. One by one. Around the world. We are rebirthing a new earth. With the work that we do. Answering our soul call. All right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Spirit. I feel like there's something else. What does the collective need to hear right now? Do tell. Woo, thank you, Spirit. Thank you. Here it is. I felt like there was one more thing. Just one more thing. Okay? Just one more thing. The Empress. Birthing something new. You're birthing something new. You're birthing what is needed in the world today. Okay? The abundance that is coming towards you. My good people, the abundance that is coming towards you, spirit says, get ready. There's abundance coming towards you because you are birthing a new, a new life, but a life that is fulfilling for you. Your soul has been poking at you. Let me out. Let me free. Your soul calling has been knocking and it's time to answer the call because you have something that the world needs. That is what spirit is telling us. You have something that the world needs. Okay. Answer the call. This is not a mistake. You're seeing this for a reason. You clicked on this for a reason. No matter no matter when you see this, it's it's timeless. It's relevant at the time that you are watching this. The messages and insights are shared that I share in this video. They're not constrained by time. Spirit offers us guidance and advice, and it can be applicable for whenever you see it. So you're watching this now. This is meant for you right now. So even if you're watching this video and it was recorded some time ago, the messages are intended to offer guidance and support that is relevant to your current situation. You're here for a reason. This is what spirit needs you to know. Do not miss it. Do not deny. Do not close the door on on spirit. Do not hang up that call that your soul calling is calling and calling and you've been denying it and disregarding it. It's time. Spirit is telling you, I've waited on you and now I'm going to get in your face and tell you how much your magic is needed. I'm Spirit is telling you how relevant your abilities and your soul calling is needed and how the work you will do will raise the collective vibration of this planet, will make life for the humans on this planet better and better each day as we do this work collectively. When we're doing it collectively around the world, the shift will be undeniable. Do the work. You're being called to do the work. Do not deny it. Do not shy away from it. This is for you. This is for you. Okay? I thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in. If you stay to the end, this is a sign that you are absolutely meant to see this. So please don't forget to like, comment, and share. Click the notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming videos. I will see you soon. But until then, bye-bye.